I'm singing in the rain. I'm singing in the rain. What a wonderful feeling. I'm on the charts again. Back to the ducks. And a warm welcome to one and all. And for those of you who have not seen me before, my name is Langers, and I am the vocal talent that is the Scruffy Trader. And it's the first of the month, and I am still testing the DAX. Um, what I'm doing, it's a live forward test of a strategy I'm putting together. It's based on an older strategy, but it didn't really work. Uh, it was little more than a coin toss. So I've been adapting it to make it profitable. And the idea is it's one trade, one setup, once a day, and hopefully earn you a little bit of money come the end of the month. You know, you can trade it sort of before you go to work if you like. So if that sounds good, crack that little subscribe button to see the journey. Smash the like to motivate me to do more, and we'll bash on. So what I'll do is I'll pull up my little sheet um, so we can see exactly where we're up to. And don't worry, I won't be singing anymore. But that was a little nod to Ron. So a little salute to you, my friend, who mentioned singing in the rain in one of the comments. And I thought, why not? What a day to start. Because let's be honest. You've got to start your day in a happy mood and then you can look at the charts in a happy mood because believe it or not your moods are what kind of dictate whether you're going to win or lose. If you're in a bad mood you're going to be aggressive with the charts that aggression you ain't going to win. The market will always be stronger and tougher than what you are. If you're in a good mood you can be relaxed just take your time and well, let the chart be your friend. So let's find out. So where we are, we're at 10 to 7 at the moment, so we're a little bit early. So I'll fill this in. Uh, what is this? This is just a running total of what I've been up to. Started with £500 last month, which uh, is there. And we grew that um, 95, 16, 19%. And up to now we've got a 100% hit rate. I know there's a zero there, but that zero um, was no trade. There was nothing that was null and void. So it, it doesn't really count as a, as a loss. And we're looking to edge up the bid size in order to maximize the account as we go. Now I am running the risk of margin calls regular on this because the account is so small. So I'm also very conservative the moment I say this is wrong, poof, I'm out. And I'll fight again the next day. I'm not going to be a hero. Okay. But we'll go through it as time goes on. And also I'm kind of keeping a, a running note of what's going on. Uh, which is down here. The best full day is it, it's nine days in a row. The tenth was obviously a scratch. Positions. That one was killed early and re-entered, making 10 positions, okay? And we're going to try and get to a point where we start splitting trades as well, so the positions will get better. So we are the first today. Our balance is 59516. I'm still running at a high risk. Now, this is a monetary risk, and it's not where I'm expecting it to go to. Um, I will kill trades way before it gets there, but it's given me a boundary of what I need to work to and we still at 65p I've targeted this out I just put a, a basic target in of two grand over two years uh, a year rather which is 769 a day 38 46 a week 166 a month um, in order to achieve that 
it was a starting balance of 1.5 of the account per day and as we edge up the bid size this naturally increases and to edge the bid I need to break well it's actually 15 pips what I want to break so every time I do more than 15 pips I'll move the bid size up so this is all nice and ready to rock let us have a look at the chart this is the chart I always start in the hourly and what am I doing with it today I'm going to take it short and you can see it's had a massive push up it's slammed down couldn't push any further it's moved up but it can't move any higher and you can see that with the candles decreasing now good thing so my idea of going short in my mind is correct so we'll take this down to the lower time frames mark to roughly where I want it to be we've got a roadblock in the way and I want to get it down into a first and second stage target which is these two boxes ideally I want to get it in the orange one but I'll be happy with the green drop it into a five minute and then that is that so we've got a few minutes before we look to enter um, I can start putting the orders in now however it is 10 to 7 in the morning and one of the rules is you trade after 7 a.m. it's nothing sort of spectacular it's just to do with cost you see before 7 a.m. the spreads are quite wide and you could be taken in to a trade too early and sit on a lot of heat unnecessarily Whereas after seven, the spreads tighten up and you can time your entry a little bit better and well, basically not have any stress. <clears throat> and the key element there is stress because it's not only stress on you, it's stress on the account. With this only being sort of £595, I can't allow this to rattle away from me and certainly and so four and five pip spread it makes a difference so the idea is wait till after seven let the spreads tighten up but it also kind of lets you see what the market's up to as well it gives you time to breathe so i'll come back at uh, seven when i'm looking to get in and we'll be looking to place some orders shot well, we're waiting. Okay, guys, um, we're ready to rock. Let's have a look. So I'm just going to prop an order in right out the way, just like so. So I can see what's going on. Right, we'll put that there. Like that. And let's start building this up. Okay, so I kind of want that under there. We'll drop that. We'll just put it in the the midpoint for now, just like so. And I'll be fine. Okay. Let's have a little look. Um, actually, I'm going to take that. Off for now. I just want to watch something just a second. Right. Okay. All right, sorry about that. 
believe it or not, that move was a little bit too aggressive. And I want to see if the zone is going to hold the price back. If it does, um, I've probably done the right thing and I can move the price back with it. Uh, if it doesn't and it comes through, it doesn't matter. Uh, we'll, we'll just have to wait and see. Like I say, this is all, it's just testing. And the one thing that I don't want to do with this account is put it under unnecessary strain. And that's the problem with it. With it having such a small balance, I could put this under a lot of stress. And that's the hard part. It's whenever you're starting out, the chances are you're going to have a small account. And the problem with small accounts is it's very easily eroded and it, it, it's you can be gun ho and just dive in where the angels fear to tread. Oh, there we go. Over here. And well, it, it's just not a, a situation you want. And what I did there was I wanted to just check that the price would be withheld within the um, the zone which is why I put it to the bottom out of the way and one of the ideas of this strategy is to be able to set and forget it uh, which is why I want to try and get the orders in relatively quick and well, they, there you go um, it, it's it's tagged in and it's moving away and it, it's just one of those things so what we're going to do is we're just going to play it out the idea is to get down into the green box if it can get down there happy days if further it gets into the yellow there's a crossover between the two first close inside the yellow box that's it we'll kind of um we'll call it even so let us play this out and we'll see how we get on Okay, guys, um, I've come down into the office. I've had to re enter the market because it went up and I've killed it. However, um, it's taken quite a substantial punch this morning, but it's put another piece into the puzzle. Are you serious? And it's all about a live ongoing test. I knew there'd be mistakes going forward and well, you've just got to roll with the punches. And the thing is, it just clipped the stop just up here and then turned around. But I was driving in 
I couldn't allow this to go any further, which is why the hard stop was in place. I'd already scaled out to relieve the stress a little bit. And all right, it's gone a bit further than where I would like it to be. But sell a V, that's just trading. If you can't take a little bloody nose, maybe you ought to go back home and crawl under your bed. Uh, anyway, uh, sat down. Uh, there is a setup that was there. So to save a bit of grace on the day, I've entered into the market again. Uh, it was done sort of quarter past 10. So if you are doing this in work time, you could have still glanced at the charts at break time and thought, oh, there it is. Let us have a little bit rock and roll. So that's kind of what you're seeing now. Uh, I'll switch the camera off um, simply because I've got a lot of work to do this afternoon and I need the camera to do some work for the Scruffy Squad guys. And I'll update it when I get home. So catch you soon, guys. Prophecy, prophecy caused all this trouble. Okay, guys, so I'm back home. It's late on, it's half past eight. So I'm gonna recap the DAX trade from this morning because it was, well, let's just say it was a bit of a disaster. Although it's added a little bit of a uh, few extra rules to what I need while I'm building this up live. So I've had a, a decent day, skived off. And up oh, talking of skivers. While you were skiving, this came. I wasn't skiving. Yes, you I were. had a very important meeting with a golf course. Cheeky fuckers. That's skiving. <laughs> skiving. What's this? I don't know. It's for you. That's for me. So, not only has it been a disaster, but it actually did end a little bit better. And I'll show you that in just a second. I've had a good game of golf. She's smiling. Got my coffee and she's brought me a present. Is this from you? No, it's not from me. It came through the post. Yeah. Well, bear with me then. Someone likes you. You like me. I do. I'm going to send you presents. <laughs> do you want to give me a present? No, for you. You dirty old man. <laughs> I've had a hard day. Well, I've had a good day actually. You know. I hit these Amazon's thing, they didn't bloody pin the ass. What is it? It's a bag. What's in the bag? Well, you're a bag. Are you trying to get a rise out of me? Are you happy now? Is this what you want? You know, you push you look yeah. open it, see what's in. series man mandalorian how cool is that see if i can get the camera to work that out properly there you go how good is that that that'll be up on my star wars figure little wall there oh, oh. it's not from you you have to open it and say enjoy your gift big ball big balls <laughs> oh dear me oh Cheers, you naughty little devil, you. Um, I'll let you off from being in detention in the Discord group. You can make as much mayhem as you like next week. <coughs> That's absolutely superb. Oh, th thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Why aren't you getting me a present? You don't get me what? I get you presents all the time. You never do. You bloody liar. When was the last time you got me a present? I took you to the pub. Well, that's not a present, isn't it? Of course it is. Bought your wine and got your battered. Cheers! Let's hear it for the beer. Cheers! Oh, aisle to the aisle. Cheers! And welcome the wine. For the leaves. <laughs> Which I helped. <laughs> sorry. Right. Sorry. As I was saying, I've had a, a good day and that's actually capped it off. Um, <laughs> thank you. 
It's uh, superb, that. The DAX this morning was an utter disaster. And the sad part of it is, I should have known better. Um, but I'm trying to do this in a mechanical way. And what it's kind of proving to me is it's it's not really that way inclined that there are certain things i can put into it to make it work which is what i am attempting to do over the course of the next few weeks it's kind of why i'm being very quiet about the rules i won't discuss the rules at all and a lot of what's being mentioned uh, just miles off the mark and the reason why i'm not discussing it is i'm not going to lead anybody up the wrong path this is a test and the test is to see if it's feasible and if it is feasible then fine I'll, I'll put it on the blog and we'll talk about it but up until that point the rules are changing almost on a daily basis the core element is is the same but I need to fine-tune it and add the as you hear me talk about many times a little layer here and a little layer there just to ensure that the edge is always in our favor and the only way see i when i back test i'll back test to get a core idea but then when i'm testing something for a strategy it's kind of what you're seeing now which is why i call it a live test i'll put a small amount of money into an account and then i will trade it and the reason being is it helps with the emotional roller coaster because you're dealing and you're seeing the p l swings but you're also having to time your trades in real time see when you back test even do it manually it's still a perfect world you know and sometimes you get tagged in a little bit early and you've seen me do it over the course of a few days and then it comes down to a little bit of discretion and sort of management of the trade so let me pull the screen up and we'll have a little chat about it because this just was catastrophically wrong from from the get-go so we were looking to get in at seven which was down here and the idea was to get into this zone and it started I thought fine that there was part of my rules we're saying it's a bit early which is why I moved if you looked at it at the start I took an order out and I moved it further down to allow it to breathe and that was because everything was saying this is going to the to the upside and I wanted it to go up the downside because my general belief the overall belief was it's going to coming down and as you can see looking at this screen I was right but what happened was there was whatever you want to call it um, stop hunt um, whatever you know sometimes the markets just don't play a ball and no matter how good you are the market will always be better than you and today it proved it because it punched me in the nose really hard now I already know I need a wide stop loss on the DAX and I genuinely do now as this rattled away from me I had no other choice but to kill it off so what I did was I actually scaled out of the trade why did I scale out because one it's releases a bit of the pressure but it also let me sort of push the out, outer extreme of, of the other stop and all right I went, I went over a little bit so about 10 or over where I should have been uh, so a bit of a slap on the wrist and naughty langers sort of thing and actually it just say hit the stop if I push the stop that little bit further out I'd have been fine and I'd been laughing however the stop has to be where the stop has to be and when I'd measured it out that's where it should have been and it clipped it but isn't that what your stops for yes 
I am going to get a bloody nose. And I did. <laughs> but scaling out of the trade, even when it was negatively against me, just released a little bit of the pressure. And then when I got down into the office, I could see it was setting up exactly what I thought was going to happen in the morning. And what you've got to remember is I don't like losing money. And I often say, start with zero, end with one. And it don't matter what happens in the middle. And when you looked at that, I still ended the day positive. It wasn't a great positive, but it was still more than I started with. And it was based on the setup that I'd seen at sort of half past six, quarter seven this morning. And anyway, rattled down. The target was to get it right the way through because I was just going to let it run through the day. Did exactly what it was meant to. And then if you look at it, it's now rattled the way off. And we'll be resetting and getting ready to do all of this again tomorrow. Now, Friday is a hard day. It is a real hard day. It can kind of work with this because the idea is to be in and out relatively quickly. And so we'll see if we can get a little bit of money tomorrow. And if we can, result. And if not, we'll do it again on Tuesday because you don't trade this on a Monday. Monday morning is a nightmare. So let us have a look at the sheet, see where we are. Uh, I did start filling this in, so let's have a look, we have another couple of positions to go in, so get rid of them, uh, I'll fill my notes in later, uh, but like I was saying, uh, scale out 50% of it because it was going against me, um, so let's have a look, what, where, what was I saying? Uh, 43, 12 at 35. So, minus 43, 12. Minus 35, so that must have been 30, because it was only at 65B. Uh, is that right? Yeah, that's right. And then 83, 85 at full full tilt. What did I say? 80, 83, 85, sorry. So that's 83, 85, 65. Okay. So I can edge that up tomorrow. It's 68. And we're growing again. So for all we've taken a good smack in the nose, we ended the day up. <sighs> Don't want to do this again? Not really. It was hard work. It really was. So we'll just put the target in ready for in the morning. 57. That's kind of what we're looking at tomorrow. So in summary, it's ended well, but it was a terrible day. And why did it go wrong? Because I tried to jump in too early. Be a bit cocky, shall we say. And because of that, and even though the other screen said, don't enter just yet, did it anyway, and I paid the price. Now, the difference here is, rather than crying about it and worry. You know, if I was as worried as you, I'd never fart for fear of shitting myself. I scaled out to relieve the pressure and also allow the trade to breathe a little bit and it was a hell of a move up. And I did it on purpose because I'm trying to protect the account because everything was telling me it was going to come down. Waited for the optimum moment, re-entered because the margin was put back into the account and then roared it as far down as I could get and ended okay. Uh, today was a little bit of skill 
and mostly luck, I think. Um, because I didn't think it was going to move as far down as it did. If I got half of it back, I would have been more than happy. But that is trading. If I was trading my normal account, um, I'd have been negatively averaging all the way up. And then when it turned around and came down, there would have been a colossal payment. But I haven't got the luxury of it with this account. I, I have to... If it's going against me, once it gets halfway to the stop, and I've heard you say, you've heard me say it about mental stops, draw a line in. Once it passes that line in the sand, boof, you make a decision. My decision was to take half of it off, allow it to run a little bit further, see if it's a zone is going to hold it back. As it happens, that zone did hold it back, but it poked up and took a stop out can't win them all but what you can do is manage them all and that's that's the art of trading you know so it's still work in progress we are still up uh, we've gone from 500 to 608 and do it again tomorrow so trade well definitely keep your risk managed manage your trade well but above all do what you love and the money will follow see you all in the next one